So as I talked about in the video last week, I've been fighting an issue with the U7 Pro and the U7 Pro Max. Um, I have an install coming up, um, probably like in the next month or so at a family member's house. That's what all this other stuff is. Um, except for this one, this was the older model, but we'll get to that in a second. I was gonna go U7 Pro. It's like their regular Wi-Fi 7 product in the Unify, but I actually have a U7 Pro and a U7 Pro Max. Actually, this is the U7 Pro Max. It's just sitting on my desk. Um, it's useless. It cannot be used. And the U7 Pro is okay. I'll tell you how to downgrade yours and use it, but there's a change coming up in the U7 Pro. I'm suspecting you might see it in the U7 Pro Max as well. They're actually gonna change to dual chipsets instead of one chipset. Why? I'm not exactly sure. I, I have my speculation of why. Um, because the 2.4 gigahertz side on the U7 Pro Max and the U7 Pro, I'll just call them the U7 here out because they both suck. Don't buy them. If there's anything you take away from this video, is stick to the U6. The U6 Pro, the U6 line, not the U6 Plus one, but the U6 Pro is pretty good. Um, the U6 Enterprise is freaking awesome, but it is pricey. It's a great access point to use. Now, if there's other access points that aren't Unify out there, they're Wi-Fi 7 that we could use or something, definitely let me know about those as well. But I just know a lot of people use Unify because they're pretty economical in pricing and give that, you know, power network that, you know, into like the smart home and everything. But don't use the U7 Pro for smart home crap. I guarantee you, like, especially U7 Pro Max, the threads on their website for all the releases and everything is just littered with everybody having issues with devices falling off and anything. Um, there's several of us out there have tried different firmwares, working with support and everything, and they've gone dark on us. Um, they just said as much as they're going back to the manufacturer, the chipset, which is Qualcomm on these and try to get, you know, some type of firmware fix on them. But then they come out with that FCC document and says instead of one chip inside, they're splitting to two chips. And guess what? One chip is just for the 2.4 gigahertz. Again, my speculation is take an old chip that just works. Like even in the AC Pro, it's just 2.4 gigahertz, right? Take that chip that it works great in the U6, stick it in the U7, downgrade the 2.4 gigahertz, fix all those issues, and then give it back to the consumer as the same model, maybe. Hopefully they'll do a recall or there's just some firmware that'll fix that for the U7 Pro and U7 Pro Max. I mean, really, there's several of us out there that have $300 doorstops for an access point because they're quite useless for the smart home on the 2.4 gigahertz side. All your devices just continue to fall off and they won't come back, they get blocked and everything. Um, so I guess I'm gonna jump in, try not to make this one as long. I know I do talk a lot and everything, but I wanted to tell everybody about just pause. If you're thinking about buying the U7 Pro, U7 Pro Max from Unify, stick to the U6 Pro for now, or the U6 Enterprise if you need that six gigahertz crazy speed. I haven't seen issues with the U7 outdoor on the thing but then you start to mix u7 stuff with u6 stuff some phones really don't like to do that but as you can see i've already bought the u7 outdoor for my install going on doing the ucg awesome little device a little touch screen on the front and everything that's pretty cool and then using this little switch the little eight port switch we're throwing a few access points in i'll cover that in some of the video and hopefully we won't have any issues with this guy and um nothing pertaining to this video but then hopefully we'll get to see because their cell phone signal absolutely sucks ass at their house and um i want to see if this actually makes a difference and mounting and pulling in cell phone signal in their house. That's kind of where all this led to was to get them better Wi-Fi calling inside the house. And that's where I went down the Unify road. I didn't want to do the whole mesh thing, but then we ran into problems with the 
U7 side. So um, yeah, if, if you want to see how to downgrade yours, I'll go through some of the stuff for the controller. If not, press the like button, dislike, whatever it may be. Tell me I suck or uh, I don't know. Tell me about some better access points than this Unify 7 crap that's going on. Now, if you dig around on Reddit, you also saw that there's also a thread out there by Perfectionist. Um, saw this as well. I know several of us nerdy folks get different alerts on the FCC report. So what does all this mean? This is the U7 Pro. Now, I, I do have the U7 Pro right above me right here, and it works okay if you stick to 7.0.59, which I'll show you how to grab that real quick and throw it on there. It's pretty easy. So what's the big change about? What's the big hubbub? Um, all the 2.4 gigahertz devices on the U7 Pro, U7 Pro Max suck. The, all the new versions past 7.0.5.9, absolutely horrible. Maybe if you have like 10 devices, 15 devices, you might be okay. But if you have anywhere, I've got over 100 Wi-Fi devices in the house um, that, you know, and I still love my wired. Um, I love my Ethernet. But, of course, not everything, your ESP chips, smart home stuff, a lot of that stuff is Wi-Fi. Never had any problem with it with the regular U6 line. So they talk about the U7 Pro is identical to the other U7 Pro. There's going to be two different models. So, yeah, that makes it very confusing. They've done some switcheroos with stuff in the past on the Unify side. Um... It's saying, except for the only difference, is the RF circuitry, 2.4 gigahertz, is going to be different. The big change is changing from one system on chip to a two chip set. Now, why is that? Now, of course, that's just going to be speculation from me. They could have an issue with the actual chip set, like right now. I haven't been able to, and several of us, we haven't been able to get a fix on the U7 Pro and the U7 Pro Max on firmware. So, yeah, 2.4 gigahertz is just a, it's just a no-go for those models. So maybe this is why that they're going to be like, hey, we do see a problem out there with the hardware. Now, hopefully they won't be hush-hush about it. Hopefully they'll, if this is the issue, they'll do a recall or allow us to swap to the two-chipset model. Maybe they'll call it the U7 Pro Plus Max Ultra or some bullshit name that marketing came up with, right? Now, you'll notice no changes have been made in the hardware for the 5 gigahertz side. None have been made for the other side, the, the 6 gigahertz. So it's just 2.4 gigahertz. Now, I don't see the U7 Pro Max out here yet. Maybe that will come later. Um, but... It also could mean that I'm just a dumbass. In other words, on the releases page and threads that we're just the only ones having issue. And the only reason they're changing to two chips is because of supply chain issues. I, I don't think that's the fact because I don't know. It's just Qualcomm makes these chipsets and it's supposed to be a three band chipset, but maybe they just can't fix it. So does that mean other manufacturers are having issues as well? I'm not sure you know any of them out there, definitely let me know. So you can see they're calling it the U7 Pro P. But the U7 Pro Plus? Um, maybe that's the one that's going to work with smart home devices? Maybe so. I'm not exactly sure. It's just my speculation, and I'll definitely keep you um, in tune with some of these other FCC releases. I have reached out to Unify to get an official ruling on this, but I doubt they'll come back. But if they do, I'll leave a comment down there and pin it. If you have the U7 Pro Max, I'm sorry, uh, you may have to put it up like I did. Just to show some of the threads on here, this is on the Unify latest official release for the U7 Pro, Pro Max, U7 Outdoor, etc. It's full of stuff like this. Hey, I'm having TX retries on 2.4, particularly with IoT devices. Trying to see if I can find it. 2.4 gigahertz is broken on the U7 Pro Max. Devices can't connect. Nothing can communicate reliable. I'm not the only one. Now, some people, maybe they don't have many. This says all the U7 Pros work fine. Um, I wish mine did. I would love it. Wouldn't have to make this damn video. Same issues with me. I had to dig out my U6 mesh to get my IoT devices to connect. 
Both my U7 Pro and U7 Pro Max are useless with 2.4 gigahertz IoT devices. That's going to be all your smart home stuff. So I'll leave a link to this thread. You can go read it and go enjoy some of the stuff. But this is not the version I, you want to download that I have found that's for the U7 Pro Max. So this is the firmware version that seems to work for me on my U7 Pro. I tried it on the Pro Max. It doesn't work. Stuff just falls off after a few hours. Um, it's, it's bad. So stick with this version. I may have to put the U7 Pro Max up and then just stick to the U7 Pros for now. Wait to see if they fix it. Don't try the MLO, that's that multi-link operation deal where it uses multiple frequencies to get better throughput. Those have been an absolute failure for the most part. I couldn't even get MLO to work on mine, but some people have no problem. But this is basically what you'll see, especially like if you're using smart home stuff, you'll just see a device that's unavailable on Home Assistant. They'll just say unavailable, can't use it. And then maybe if you're lucky, you, you know, pray to the Wi-Fi gods of Unify and then your device will come back. But then it'll probably fall off in a couple hours later and they'd be unavailable right when you go to use it. Um, and it will continue to happen to all of your devices over and over and over. The logbook will look like this. It'll just be unavailable, 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 unavailable. Look, all this time this device is just falling off the network for no reason. And it's not moving around. It's just because it's next to and using either the new firmware or the U7 Pro Max. It's horrible. I know I keep saying it, but it's pretty sad how bad it is and very frustrating. Now, to roll back your device to 7059, it's not hard to do. Just come here to this thread. I won't link the exact firmware because I'd prefer you make sure you get it from their actual, you know, UI.com thread. I'll link the actual thread down below, but come down here where it says download links and you'll get to see the one that says U7 Outdoor U7 Pro. That's for the Pro, the Wall and the Max. I don't have the Wall. I can't speak on how bad or good it is. Don't click the link. You'll just want to right click the link and copy the link address. Then go over to your controller, pick on the U7 Pro. Yeah, mine says click to update. No, I'm not updating it. And then come to the gear on the right and then scroll all the way to the bottom and it says manual firmware update right here. And then you'll paste in that URL. Make sure it is the HTTPS download, blah, blah, blah. That's that U7 Pro firmware. It comes right from them. Um, then hit the update button. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to reboot and upset the Apple cart of Wi-Fi of Unify going on because things work just fine right now. Um, yeah, things have been touchy in the house with Wi-Fi right lately. So hit update. It's going to go and pull and you should see it refresh in the controller and it will pull 7059. If not, you just wait a bit, hit refresh. It should show 705. Now you may have to do it twice. Um, if it still doesn't show for some reason, check the, make sure you got the full URL and that's about it. So they'd be asking, well, what actual devices are good for, you know, doing Unify and access points and work great with smart home devices? And are there different access points to stay away from? Yes, actually on our Discord channel, we Fan Man keeps up with a post that has all the good ones and all the bad ones to stay away from. So of course, if you absolutely have to have Wi-Fi 7, of course, here's the ones he does list. Newer isn't always better. I would stay away from Wi-Fi 7 absolutely if you can on the Unify line so far. So Wi-Fi 6, he does list out the different enterprise and in wall, pro, mesh, etc. Talks about some of his models. The U6 Pro is probably going to be my go-to for finding that, you know, nice set of not being too expensive for you, but yet a decent access point. They're really good. Um, the U6 Enterprise is pretty pricey, but it does give you that six gigahertz stuff. Now we're going to get down to the poor choices. U7 Pro Max. We already talked about that enough. We beat the horse to death right, right there. Also, take note of these. The U6 LR, the light, U6 Plus, U6 LR Plus, all of these, et cetera, they all have MediaTek Wi-Fi chipsets. 
and they've been known not to work that well for a lot of different devices and everything. So I would stick to the Qualcomm stuff. You also will find the famous Nano HD that a lot of people have had issues with. So um, yeah, I'll link this post down there. That way you, you're thinking about getting something, probably the easiest way, just stick to the U6 Pro or maybe stick to something else. If you know something else that's even better, it does work, Wi-Fi 7, of course, let me know down below. And that'll about do it for this weird one, but I wanted to just put that kind of PSA out there. Again, these are my own thoughts, my own opinions on why they're changing them. But I may be completely wrong, but why would you change from one chip that supposedly works to two chips that may cost more money? Not exactly sure. Maybe we'll find out soon. So I do appreciate all the Patreon members, YouTube members. Definitely couldn't do it without you. And yep, you know the drill. Press all them buttons and y'all take care.